Hello students we shall now learn a theorem under the topic fuzzy arithmetic based on extension principle the theorem states that let star be an element of plus minus multiplication and division so star is any one of these four operations and let a comma b denote continuous fuzzy numbers so a and b are fuzzy numbers that are continuous then the fuzzy set a star b defined by a star b of z is equal to supremum of z equal to x star y minimum of a of x comma b of y is a continuous fuzzy number now here it is given that a and b are continuous fuzzy numbers and we have to prove that a star b of z is also continuous fuzzy number for which first we have to prove that a star b is a fuzzy number and secondly we have to prove that a star b is continuous and so we divide the proof as two parts where in the first part we will be proving that a star b is a fuzzy number and in the second part we will be proving that a star b is continuous now let us see the proof so first let us prove that a star b is a fuzzy number so to prove that prove this it is enough if we prove that alpha cut of a star b is equal to alpha cut of a star alpha cut of b for alpha element of open 0 and closed 1 so already in the previous section that is arithmetic operation on fuzzy numbers we have learnt about this in order to prove that a star b is a fuzzy number it is enough we prove that alpha cut of a star b is equal to alpha cut of a star alpha cut of b for alpha an element of open 0 and closed 1 now to prove this first we will again divide this into two parts where in the first part we will be proving that alpha cut of a star alpha cut of b is a subset of alpha cut of a star b and in the second part we will be proving that alpha cut that is this alpha cut of a star b is a subset of alpha cut of a star alpha cut of b so first we shall prove this first part so first let us prove this part now while proving in this part what we have to do is we have to consider an element from this and we have to prove that that element also belongs to this set if so then this set will become a subset of this set so first what we shall do let us consider let for any z element of so we will take an element from this that is alpha cut of a star alpha cut of b so if we take an element from this then there exists there exists some x not and y not so how does how 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 are they where x not will be an element of alpha cut of a and y not will be an element of alpha cut of b such that now how is this z z is an element of alpha cut of a star alpha cut of b now x not we have chosen from alpha cut of a y not we have chosen from alpha cut of b then z will be equal to x not star y not now next because uh, we can see that x not is an element of alpha cut of a from which we can understand that the membership grade of x not is greater than or equal to alpha this is by the definition of alpha cut set and we can see that y not is an element of alpha cut of b which implies that the membership grade of y not with respect to the fuzzy set b is greater than or equal to alpha this two we have written by the definition of alpha cut now next what we have to prove we have taken z from this set and we have to prove that it also belongs to this that is this is alpha cut of a star b to prove that any element belongs to this set we have to prove that the membership grade of that element 
with respect to this fuzzy set is greater than or equal to alpha so we will consider the membership grade of that element that is we will consider a star b of z now by the definition okay of uh, of uh, by the definition using the uh, extension principle now as per the theorem a star b of z is what supremum of the minimum of a of x comma b of y where z is equal to uh, is equals to x star y so let us write that here so a star b of z will be equal to supremum of z equal to x star y okay uh, minimum of a of x comma b of y now we can consider this for the for a particular value x not so that will be equal to supremum of z equal to x not star y not this was in general so now we are considering for a particular value x not minimum of a of x not comma b of y not now a star of b of z is what actually is supremum of minimum supremum of of the minimum of these two values so this is a supremum value so this value will be greater than or equal to so a star b of z will be greater than or equal to the minimum value because this is the supremum of the supremum of the minimum so it will be definitely greater than or equal to minimum of a of x not comma b of y not but now what is a of x not it is greater than or equal to alpha and b of y not is also greater than or equal to alpha so the here also we have the greater than or equal to symbol and so hence this will be greater than or equal to alpha so from this we observe that a star b of z is greater than or equal to alpha that is the membership grade of the element z with respect to the fuzzy set a star b is greater than or equal to alpha which implies that z is an element of alpha cut of a star b so we started with an element from alpha cut of a star alpha cut of b and we have proved that that element is also an element of alpha cut of a star b which implies that alpha cut of a star alpha cut of b is a subset of alpha cut of a star b so this implies that alpha cut of a star alpha cut of b is a subset of alpha cut of a star b so we are done with the first part of the proof that is we have proved this now next what we have to prove is alpha cut of a star b is a subset of alpha cut of a star alpha cut of b we shall see the proof of this now so now next the second part of the proof is alpha cut of a star b is a subset of alpha cut of a star alpha cut of b so we have to prove this the proof of this will be continued in our next video thank you